Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Not Church, where we encourage people to think. Why are you afraid? We hide sometimes our true selves deep down inside of us because you have to stay boxed in to a, a certain set of standards and rules and regulations to where you're just crippled and you're worried about what people think or you're worried about what family might think. How will the family respond to people's judgment of you? I want to challenge you to live above the judgment, the criticism, the traumas, the past traumas, the fears, just live above it because that is like akin to death. When you're living according to those things, it's like, man, you're not really living, you're dying because you cannot be yourself. You can't be yourself because you're afraid that when people see your true self, you won't be accepted. Another big fear is people are... And I thank God that I'm delivered from this, just afraid to be alone. That's the bigger issue. If people think a certain thing about you, you'll be alienated. But really, who's in your corner anyway? At the end of the day, with these people with you, supporting you in your toughest times and, you know, walking with you through your deepest traumas? Of course not. Not on. And not only that, I mean, even some family wasn't even, there are some places that you've been that your own mama couldn't go with you. And you know that. Your own daddy couldn't. So you know these other people, they're not going to go. You had to deal with that thing for yourself, by yourself. And you deserve to live your life out loud. Now, I'm not saying be an a-hole. And I'm not saying be rude and be nasty to people. That's that's a different thing. And then we may have to talk about some areas of security and some areas of insecurity in your life if, if that's what you are taking out of this because that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is an inner freedom to live your life without being afraid of anything at all just living your life totally free free to be you free to exist free to live you know i'm gonna be honest you know even when we discuss jesus you know we like to talk about jesus the person of jesus the person of jesus didn't give a damn what people thought honestly he if we're really talking about the Jesus of the Bible, Jesus did not give a flying flip. And Jesus was fearless. He did not walk in fear. He walked in courage and confidence in who he was. The things that people thought were bad or evil or whatever they thought about it. Jesus didn't give a flying flip about that. He even put to rest those thoughts. And when we're talking about being alone, my God, no one was more alone than Jesus. I want you to understand that, you know, and, and, and I'm a father of two, a son, 22, be 23 in December, and a daughter who were who will be um, 16 in Feb this coming February. And the one thing that I have taken from being a parent is I don't, you know, one of the things I try not to ever put on my children is bondage, tying their hands from being who God created them to be. Just because they came from my loins doesn't mean they have to copy my template. I want them to be free. You know why? Because their free moral agents on this planet um, have the God-given citizenship here on this earth to be what and who God called them to be. And I respect that as a parent. And so maybe we should try thinking along those lines when we're dealing with people in general. We can't control people, right? We can't tell people what to do. 
we can't force them. And, and if you force them, if you try to force them, what they're going to do, and you guys know as well as I do, they'll sneak behind your back and do what they want to do anyway. So the question ain't, is people free? The question is, are people afraid to live their life freely? Or if they're going to hide? All right? Don't hide. Come out. Be who you are. It's okay. People didn't love you for who you are. They ain't going to love you anyway. They don't love you for who you are. Honestly, forget them. <laughs> And if I wanted to be real nasty, I would say the other word, but I'm not going to be real nasty. I'm going to be good. I appreciate you. Please like, comment, subscribe to the uh, content. You can hate the content if you like, love it, whatever. Just be a part of this community and share with other people what you, what you take from this. That's how I am blessed. All right. Past star, the name past star just means... I used to be a pastor for 11 years, but that just means that I've moved past Richard. I've moved past my limitations. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you again for tuning in. And remember, it is okay to think till we meet again. Peace. Everybody won't be on top. Yeah. Whether the roof or the mountaintop. That's right.